Hi there, everyone. This is Miss Tracy at the Cherville Branch Library. I'm here with another story time for you today. You will notice I have a bag back behind me, and that bag has a letter on it. What letter do you see there? Did you say B? That's right, we have a letter B bag. Here's our capital or uppercase B and our little or lowercase B. I have a couple things for you to guess. Let's see. You would find lots and lots and lots of these at the library. And I usually try to read them when I'm in story time. You would hold them, some have pictures, some just have words. What do you think that letter B thing is? Did you say books? There you are, there's our stack of books. And look, what is that on the top of the books? Do you remember that from last week? That's right, it's an apple. So there's our first letter B. Hmm, oh, I love these. These are fun to have. They can be very colorful. Sometimes they're filled with regular air and sometimes with helium. You might get them for your birthday. And they start with the letter B. Did you say balloons? Look at all those pretty, pretty balloons, right? Balloon starts with the letter B. Now finally, this last thing is what we're gonna do today. These are things that you would see in the sky or maybe in a tree or maybe on the ground. They have feathers. Usually you hear them go tweak, tweak, tweak. Do you know what letter B word that is? Did you say birds? Oh, look at that beautiful bird. Yes, we have birds today. What's the main color in that bird? Can you tell? I know he's very colorful. I think blue. And did you notice our letter B is also blue? That's another letter B word. So yeah, we're gonna talk about birds today. So I thought the first thing we would do would be to sing, kind of like we did last week where we did the apples, I made us some birds, and our birds have letters on their feathers. So there's our first bird, letter B, and then there's our letter I bird, and then here is our letter R bird. Oh, what color is that bird? Blue, that's right, that's a B word, isn't it, that's bird. And here is D. And finally, here is S. So what does that spell? B-I-R-D-N-S. Right, that spells birds. They're a little small, but hopefully you can see those. So I actually created a song for us to sing just like Apples last week, where we used the theme from Bingo. So are you ready? Some are big and some are small. They are all birds. B-I-R-D-S. 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 Our fine feathered friends. Some can fly and some cannot. They are all birds. B-I-R-D-S. 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 RDS are fine feathered friends. Some are bright and some are drab. They all lay eggs. B I R D S B I R D S B I R D S are fine feathered friends. It was kind of fun, wasn't it? Obviously, you need to have something that has five letters and preferably letters that only have one syllable. But yeah, you can make up some really fun songs like that. So yes, birds lay eggs. When we're talking about birds, one of the things that we can talk about is nonfiction books. Lots of great books about birds. This one is fantastic, Birds A to Z. It is by Terry de Gazelle, and this talks about lots of different birds. Now, I happen to know what the smallest bird is, because I looked it up earlier, Hummingbirds, those are small. Those are your smallest birds. And of course, then you have your ostrich. Ostriches are your biggest birds. So just like in the song, some are really big, some are really small, 
and some can fly and some can't. So can you think of a bird that couldn't fly? So ostriches, yeah, those really big birds, they can't fly. They can run really fast, but they can't really fly. And when you think about it, penguins don't really fly either, do they? Not like, say, a robin or something. So yeah, so some fun, cool stuff there with the birds. So we are going to do a shaker egg song. Aha, because birds lay eggs, right? So I found this um, when I was looking around to see if we could find something fun. And I thought, hey, let's do a shaker egg song since we are talking about birds who lay eggs. We shake our eggs together, we shake our eggs together, we shake our eggs together. Because it's fun to do. We shake them up high and we shake them down low. And we shake them in the middle because it's fun to do. We shake our eggs together, we shake our eggs together, we shake our eggs together because it's fun to do. We shake our eggs well. We shake our eggs. We shake our eggs in the middle because it's fun to do. We shake our eggs together, we shake our eggs together, we shake our eggs together because it's fun to do. What color egg do I have? That's right, I picked a blue egg. Blue is a letter B word, you got it. That's exactly why I picked it out too. All right, so speaking of more books about birds, um, there are lots and lots of bird books. This has been one that I've had a lot of fun doing, Seven Hungry Babies, written by Candace Fleming, and the pictures are by Eugene Yelchin. You get to act really crazy and silly. Poor Mama Bird is very tired by the end of the book. I can't blame her. It's hard to take care of seven babies. You have something really pretty, like Kevin Hinkey's Birds. Gorgeous pictures in this one, illustrated by Laura Dronzik. I think that's how you say her name. Lots of very um, cool illustrations in this one. Not very rhymy, but still, sometimes you want something a little more realistic. Sometimes you just want plain silly, right? Like, don't let the pigeons stay up late. And of course, this is by the awesome Mo Willems. Lots of other pigeon books out there, right? Don't let the pigeon drive the bus, uh, pigeon finds a hot dog, things like that. So pigeon books are a lot of fun. Actually, all of the Mo Willems books are fun. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what? Speaking about books. So book, remember that was a letter B word? I have some books for us. And I actually have a fun rhyme about books. So we'll put the birds away and we'll put some books on our board up here. Look at all these cool books. All right, oh, you know what? That one doesn't really look like it's right side up. That's okay, they're just sitting around. So how many books do we see here? We've got one, two, three, four. You got it, we've got five again. Five little library books at the library. Five little books as great as can be. Here I come with my library card to take one home and read. So now how many books do we have? One, two, three, and four, right? Four little library books at the library. Four little books just as great as can be. Here I come with my library card to take one home and read. And now we have, that's right, we've got three, right? One, two, and three. What color are those books? Pink, have you ever seen a pink book? I know, I don't think I have either. Brown, tan, yeah. And what about that one? That one is gray, that's right. So we've got three library books. Three little library books at the library. Three little books as great as can be. Here I come with my library card to take one home and read. Look at this one. I'm gonna take this big, enormous book home. That one might take a while. Now I've got two, two little library books at the library. Two little books as great as can be. Here I come with my library card to take one home and read. Now how many are left? That's right, I've only got one. One little library book at the library. One little book just as great as can be. 
here I come with my library card. I'm going to take that one home and read. And now how many are left? That's right, there are none. You know what this rhyme doesn't talk about though? With your library card, what do you do? Do you keep the books? No, that's right, you borrow them. So eventually I have to turn them back in, which means there will be five books again for somebody to be able to check out. Somebody else gets to take their library card and take those books home and read them. It's pretty cool, isn't it? That's what's great about a library. You get to keep them for a while, you bring them back, and somebody else gets to take them home. So if you're watching this when I record this, it's September, and September is National Library Card Sign-Up Month. It is a little odd because we're not actually open to the public right now, but this is what you get when you sign up for a library card if you're a kid. This is the children's version of the Gaston County Public Library library card. Your color is green. It's awesome. I wish I could have this one. I'm too old. I get a blue one because I'm a grown up. But So if you don't have a library card, definitely talk to your parents about maybe getting one of those. All right. So there's some other fun books. If you have a child that's a little older or if you've got one that can sit for a while, this is a really fun one. Mama Built a Little Nest. This is by Jennifer Ward and illustrated by Steve Jenkins. And this is about different types of birds and all of the different types of nests they build. This is another nonfiction one. So you could read the real basic book or you could also read the little subtext on each page that talks about the birds and what they make. I never knew there were that many different types of nests. And then I found this, which is kind of a cool book. It's called Purple Little Bird. I do like the author, it's Greg Foley. I've read some of his before. Um, I have not seen the Purple Little Bird, but Purple Little Bird is having a problem because Purple Little Bird doesn't think that his house is a perfect house anymore. This would also be a great book for another story time about colors, lots of colors in here talking about different colors. But in the midst of all these looking at bird books, I found a really cool one that I'd never seen before. It's not a real, like, it's all about birds, but it has a bird in it. It's really fun. It's called, Shh, We Have a Plan. And it is by Chris Houghton. And it is a really funny book. And it actually won the Ezra Jack Keats Book Award. Notice that cool um, gold medallion there? So yeah, that won the Keats Book Award. And it's called, Shh, We Have a Plan. Last thing for us to do it's another bird um, flannel board, and we're going to start with one bird, pretty green one. One little bird with feathers of blue flew beside the green one, and then there were two. Two little birds singing in the tree. The red one came to join them, and now there are three. That's right, there's three. Three little birds wishing there was more. All along came the pink bird. And then there were, yeah, now we have four. Four little birds happy to be alive. They found a yellow one. And now they are five. Five little birds happy as can be, singing beautiful songs for you and for me. And there's our birds. You can just almost imagine them sitting on a wire, right? Our birds. And that is the end of our bird story time. I hope you had fun. You know what? Thinking about this though, one, two, three, four, five. Why do you figure we always count to five? I was thinking about this the other day when I got ready to put together. Why do we always count up to five or down from five? I think I know the answer. And I think it is this right here. That's right. Look at your hand. You have one, two, three, four. You have five fingers. And that's right, when you learn to count, that's how you first learn to count, usually is using your fingers. So I think that is why we count up and down from five. All right, I hope you had fun. I will see you next week. And I hope you really enjoyed our letter B story time. Don't forget birds and books. And of course, I hope you have a balloon. See you later. Bye-bye.